But let's face it, not every couple is interested in a big fat Greek wedding. And maybe a destination wedding isn't an option for you either. So what's a couple left to do? What better alternative than a civil ceremony? I'm a new market wedding photographer. Since opening my studio in 1998, I've had the opportunity to work with some of the most amazing couples across North America. Now, whether you're having a small backyard wedding or a big fat Greek wedding, we all know planning for a wedding and choosing the right photographer can be challenging. So to help, I'm sharing my wedding insight, my tips and secrets, and will also be introducing you to some of my favorite venues and industry friends. Truth is, even though I live five minutes from Fairy Lake in Newmarket and photograph families and couples there on a weekly basis, I had no idea that you could actually have your wedding ceremony there. When a recent couple had pitched the idea of doing a civil ceremony in Fairy Lake, I was totally down for that. Now, despite the rain and cold weather, the afternoon started with us staging a beautiful first look on the bridge along the Tom Taylor Trail, followed by the ceremony under the Fairy Lake gazebo. To my surprise, Laura Dana and Chad were not at all hesitant to explore the park to capture some beautiful photographs of them after the ceremony. So keep in mind, if you're planning a civil ceremony in Newmarket, you don't have to exchange your vows inside a local municipal office. There are other options out there, and this Fairy Lake civil ceremony is just one of them. <laughs> 